For thousands of years, humanity has gazed up at the night sky, captivated by the twinkling lights above. From ancient civilizations mapping constellations to modern astronomers peering through powerful telescopes, our fascination with the cosmos has never faded. We have always been driven by a deep curiosity, wondering what lies beyond our world, questioning our origins and seeking to understand our place in the vast expanse of the universe. Today we stand at the threshold of a new era in space exploration thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope or JWST. This marvel of engineering represents decades of innovation, collaboration and determination. Its journey from concept to launch was filled with challenges. But the dream of unlocking the universe's deepest mysteries kept us moving forward. Unlike its legendary predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST is designed to see the universe in a whole new light, literally. By observing in infrared, JWST can peer through cosmic dust and gas, unveiling hidden structures and phenomena that have remained invisible until now. It allows us to look further back in time, capturing the faint glow of the first galaxies and stars that formed after the Big Bang. The mission of JWST is nothing short of extraordinary. It seeks to unravel the story of our universe, from its earliest moments to the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets, one of its most exciting goals is to search for habitable worlds beyond our solar system, scanning the atmospheres of distant exoplanets for signs of life or conditions that could support it. With its golden mirrors and cutting-edge technology, JWST is our most powerful tool yet in the search for life beyond Earth. It can detect the faintest traces of water, oxygen, and other molecules in the atmospheres of distant worlds, clues that could point to the existence of life elsewhere in the cosmos. The journey to this moment has not been easy. Scientists, engineers, and visionaries from around the world have faced immense technical and logistical challenges. Yet their perseverance and passion have brought us to the edge of discovery. We are united by a shared desire to understand the cosmos and to answer the age-old question, are we alone? Now as JWST turns its gaze toward distant worlds, we stand on the verge of discoveries that could forever change our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The search for life beyond Earth has never felt more real, and the answers we seek may be closer than ever before. Tutying distant planets, worlds orbiting stars light years away, demands not only powerful technology but also ingenious methods. One of the most groundbreaking techniques astronomers use is called transit spectroscopy. This approach allows us to peer into the atmospheres of exoplanets, even though they are far too distant to visit or see directly. By carefully observing the subtle changes in starlight as a planet passes in front of its host star, scientists can unlock secrets hidden in the faintest of signals. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is at the forefront of this cosmic detective work, equipped with instruments sensitive enough to detect these minute variations. JWS patiently observes distant stars waiting for the precise moment when a planet crosses or transits in front of its star. This event causes a tiny temporary dip in the star's brightness, a telltale sign that a planet is there. By measuring the amount and duration of this dimming, astronomers can determine the planet's size, its orbit, and even estimate how far it is from its star. This is the first step in transforming a distant, invisible world into a place we can begin to understand. But, the real magic happens during the transit itself. As the planet moves across the face of its star, a small fraction of the starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere. This light is subtly changed by the gases and particles it encounters, imprinting a unique chemical fingerprint onto the starlight. By analyzing these changes, scientists can detect the presence of molecules like water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and even potential signs of life. JWST acts as a cosmic decoder, unraveling this intricate barcode of light. Its advanced spectrographs break down the starlight into its component colors, revealing the hidden signatures of different elements and compounds. This process allows astronomers to piece together the atmospheric composition of worlds that, until recently, were little more than points of light in the sky. Each spectrum is a treasure trove of information, offering clues about temperature, weather, and even the potential for habitability. This method, which relies on JWST's extraordinary precision and stability, is a form of celestial archaeology. By studying the light from ancient and distant worlds, we are uncovering the history and diversity of planets across the galaxy. Every observation adds a new piece to the puzzle of how planets form, evolve, and perhaps even support life. 
Operating in the frigid vacuum of space, far from the warmth of Earth, JWST is uniquely equipped to detect the faintest infrared signatures. Its location and design allow it to see through cosmic dust and peer deeper into planetary atmospheres than any telescope before it. This sensitivity is crucial for finding the subtle hints that might indicate a planet's ability to support life. Thanks to JWST we are moving beyond simply counting exoplanets. Now, we can begin to understand their true nature, what they're made of, how they change, and whether they might harbor the conditions necessary for life. By studying planets in the so-called habitable zone, where temperatures could allow liquid water, we edge closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone? With every new discovery, JWS transforms distant, mysterious points of light into tangible, fascinating worlds. It brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos, and to the possibility that somewhere out there, another world might be waiting to be found. Among thousands of exoplanets, K218b stands out. Located 124 light-years away, it orbits a red dwarf star and is a sub-Neptune. K218b is a potential Hycean world with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and oceanic surface. JWS's observations confirmed water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. These findings suggest a global ocean, a potential cradle for life. K218b is no longer just a dot, it's a world with chemistry and climate ready for exploration. Scientists at Cambridge, led by Professor Madhu Sudan, searched K218b's atmosphere for biosignatures. They found dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule linked to life on Earth. DMS, produced by marine phytoplankton, is a clear sign of biological activity. Its detection on K218b is significant, suggesting a thriving marine ecosystem. While caution is necessary, the implications are profound. DMS connects K218b to Earth's biological processes, a chemical handshake across light years. The data indicates a significant presence, hinting at a planet with a vibrant biosphere. This is not just about potential, it's about a specific chemical linked to life. In science, certainty isn't just a feeling, it's a precise measurement, built on careful analysis and rigorous testing. Every claim, every discovery, is weighed against the possibility of error. Scientists spend years, sometimes decades, developing methods to ensure that what they observe is real, not just a fluke or a trick of the data. This is especially true in fields like astronomy, where the evidence is often faint, distant, and open to interpretation. Certainty, in this context, is a hard-won achievement, not a casual statement. When the Cambridge team announced a 99.7% confidence in detecting dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, on the exoplanet K218b, it was a major milestone. This number means that based on their data, there's only a 0.3% chance that the signal they detected was just a random fluctuation. In other words, the evidence is strong, so strong that it's hard to ignore. But in science, hard to ignore isn't the same as proven beyond doubt. The 99.7% confidence level is what scientists call three sigma. On a bell curve, that's three standard deviations away from the average a result that's rare but not impossible by chance alone. For a formal discovery, the scientific community usually demands a Five Sigma result, which corresponds to a 99.99994% certainty. That's the gold standard, the level at which the odds of a false positive are vanishingly small. Achieving Five Sigma is incredibly difficult, but it's necessary to protect against mistakes, biases, and the ever-present risk of seeing patterns where none exist. It's a safeguard, ensuring that what we call a discovery is as close to irrefutable as possible. This high bar is what gives scientific findings their power and reliability. So, while 99.7% confidence is a significant step forward, it's not the final word. It's a strong hint, a promising lead, but not yet definitive proof of life or even of DMS itself. The scientific process demands more, more data, more analysis, and more independent confirmation, Think of it like finding a clear footprint at a crime scene. It's compelling evidence that someone was there, but it doesn't tell you everything. You still need to rule out other explanations. Maybe it's a fake, or maybe it belongs to someone you didn't expect. In science, every clue must be tested and retested before it becomes a fact. That's why scientists are cautious. They must rule out every other possibility, check for errors, and gather more data from different sources. Only then can they move from evidence to discovery. This careful, methodical approach is the heart of the scientific method. It's what separates science from speculation. 
and it's why scientific discoveries when they finally arrive are so powerful and trustworthy. The journey to certainty is long and challenging, but it's also thrilling. With every new observation, every new analysis, we get closer to answering some of humanity's biggest questions. The search continues, and with it, the promise of even more astonishing discoveries just beyond the horizon. Imagine the thrill of discovering a potential sign of life. Years of dedication culminate in a signal that could redefine our place in the cosmos. The excitement is palpable but tempered by scientific caution. Researchers are their own harshest critics, aware of the stakes. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The team balances optimism with restraint, exploring all explanations. They plan further observations to strengthen the signal. The dance between excitement and skepticism drives science forward. As K218B made headlines, JWS unveiled another breakthrough, TWA-7b. This gas planet, 34 light-years away, was discovered through direct imaging. Direct imaging allows us to study planets without relying on transits. TWA-7b's discovery showcases JWST's versatility and opens new frontiers. This method expands our ability to survey nearby star systems. JWST's rapid discoveries highlight the pace of this new era in astronomy. Each finding adds to our understanding of planetary systems and the search for life. Scientific truth requires exploring all possibilities. The team investigates non-biological explanations for DMS on K218b. Could unknown processes produce DMS without life? Some models suggest K218b might be a mini-Neptune not a Hycean world, high-pressure reactions could create DMS through non-biological pathways. The team must rule out all alternatives before claiming a biological origin. This meticulous process ensures the integrity of the search for life. Discoveries on K218b and TWA-7b mark a shift in our story. The question of life beyond Earth is now a testable hypothesis. We measure worlds, taste atmospheres and search for life's echoes. These findings challenge our cosmic perspective. If life exists on K218b, biology may be a common cosmic phenomenon. The search for life connects us to the universe and each other. It inspires curiosity, humility, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. In asking questions we find our place among the stars.